All right, today we're jumping into a story that is causing some serious waves in the AI world. We're talking about a new challenger that's not just trying to keep up with the big guys, it's trying to rewrite the entire rulebook. So let me just ask you this. In a world where all the best tech seems to have a pretty hefty price tag, what if the most powerful tool for coders was just free for anyone, anywhere? It sounds kind of impossible, right? But that's exactly the wild promise we're digging into today. You know, for the past couple of years, the AI scene has really been run by just a few key players. We all know them, ChatGPT, Claude, and yeah, they're amazing. But their best stuff, it's usually tucked away behind a paywall, controlled by just a handful of companies. But now, a brand new challenger has just stepped into the arena. This is Kimmy K2, a model from a company called Moonshot AI. And the thing is, it's not just powerful, it's open source, it's totally free. It's positioning itself as a real alternative to the titans we all know. So what's the secret sauce behind Kimi K2? Well, it all comes down to this architecture called Mixture of Experts, or MO for short. The idea is actually pretty simple, but incredibly smart. Instead of one massive model trying to do everything, MO uses a whole team of specialized, smaller models. Let's break that down. Imagine you've got a really complex problem. Instead of just asking one person who knows a little bit about everything, you get to assemble a dream team of specialists, an expert plumber, an expert electrician, you name it. The Moise system is like the project manager that knows exactly which expert to call for each specific part of your request. It's just way more efficient and powerful. And the scale we're talking about here is, well, it's just staggering. Kimi K2's architecture has one trillion total parameters. Now the key is, it only uses a tiny fraction of those for any one task. That's what makes it so fast. But it's pulling from this massive pool of knowledge, and that's where it gets its power. Okay, so the tech sounds really impressive, but how does it actually perform when the rubber meets the road? This is where it gets really interesting. We're about to see how Kimi K2 stacks up against the reigning champs in a head-to-head -head coding battle. The claim from Moonshot AI is, well, it's bold. I mean, they're not just saying Kimi K2 is good at writing code. They're saying it's actually better than the models we all thought were at the top of the food chain, like GPT-4 and the newest Claude models. And here's what they're pointing to. This is the SWE bench. It's this brutal test that makes AIs solve actual real-world software bugs. And Kimi K2 isn't just squeaking by with a win. It's scoring significantly higher than its biggest rivals. This shows it's really good at the messy, complex problems that developers face every single day. Okay, okay, let's pump the brakes for a second. We need a healthy dust of skepticism here, right? These amazing scores were self-reported by Moonshot AI. And, you know, whenever a company is grading its own homework, you have to ask, can we really trust these numbers? It's a fair question. But the story doesn't end there, because independent proof is starting to pour in. On the LMSS arena, which is basically a blind taste test where thousands of users vote on which AI gives better answers, Kimi K2 has already shot to the number one spot for open source models. And beyond the leaderboards, you've got real AI engineers who are already using it and just raving about it. So this isn't just marketing hype, it's being proven out in the real world. And this is where the whole story becomes so much bigger than just benchmarks and code. When a top tier model like Kimi K2 becomes totally free, it's a huge shift. We're talking about the democratization of AI, putting truly powerful tools into the hands of everyone. And just check out this quote from an early adopter. It perfectly shows why this is such a big deal. Their company saved over 90% on their AI bills. And what did they do with that extra cash? They used it to hire more human engineers. It's a fantastic example of how accessible AI can actually create jobs, not just take them away. So the contrast here is just crystal clear. You've got the old guard, Closed source, pay to play, you gotta mess with plugins. And then you have this new model from Kimi Key, open source, free access, and powerful features that are just built right in. It's a completely different way of thinking. You see, the launch of Kimi K2 isn't just a one-off event, it's a signal. It's a giant signpost pointing to where this whole AI field is going. This single model could fundamentally reshape what the future looks like for developers, for businesses, and honestly, for all of us we can actually see that evolution happening. First, we had this era where a few giants pretty much ran the whole show. Then Kimi K2 crashes the party as this super powerful free challenger. And what comes next? A future with way more competition, much faster innovation, and just better access for everybody. Kimi K2 is really the spark for this next big wave. 
So we end up right back where we started, with a big question. As these incredible AI tools get cheaper, more powerful, and easier for everyone to get their hands on, it's not just about which company has the biggest model anymore. It's about who can innovate the fastest, who can build the most incredible things on top of all this newfound power. The race is officially on, and it's anyone's game. Who do you think is going to win the future?